Now let's bring you some breaking news. North Korea says that its leader Kim Jong-un has overseen the test of what it describes as a new type of tactical guided weapon with a powerful warhead. Now this test is the first, of course, since Mr. Kim's second summit with President Trump in February. Now details are a little bit scarce, but let's speak to Ankit Panda, who's an American analyst. You specialize in defense. Like I say, details are scarce, but what does what does tactical this tactical missile suggest? Sure. So I think we can contrast the word tactical with the word strategic, which is what North Korea uses as shorthand to mean nuclear capable. So the message being sent here is that North Korea is still looking out for its national defense, especially as the United States and South Korea continue to conduct exercises, which Kim Jong-un actually complained about just a few days ago, uh, just four days ago in his speech to the country's uh, effective parliament. So I think uh, the message being sent here is that North Korea continues to take its defense seriously, but it's not quite testing something that would be so large so as to uh, wake up the populations of South Korea and Japan as it used to do in 2017 and potentially spark a broader crisis with the United States. But given that, of course, we are expecting where we we're all thinking about this next potential summit, the, the one that the second one didn't go according to plan, the fact that they're not talking about a long range ballistic missile, is this to appease the Americans? Um, it might not be entirely about the Americans this time. Uh, Kim Jong-un came back from Hanoi, I think, disappointed and embarrassed. And uh, we heard him during his recent speech uh, emphasize that he was no slouch when it came to national defense. So this may be an attempt to show people within the country, including the Korean People's Army, the country's armed forces incredibly significant force within the country, that he continues to take the, the modernization of North Korea's defense quite seriously. But he's doing so in a way that doesn't entirely mean that diplomacy with the United States uh, is, is put to an end. Because as we know, President Trump here in the United States has emphasized repeatedly that what he enjoys the most about the current period of detente with North Korea is the lack of any nuclear or ballistic missile tests. Now, he, he already uh, tried, he already tested a tactical weapon in November to create this kind of wall of steel to protect North Korea. Is this, is this, is your thinking that this is along the same lines? It may be, it may not. This time we have a slightly more detailed picture of what this weapon might have been. But in both instances, what the North Koreans put out really signals that what they want the world to know is that this is less about the specific weapon and the specific capability that they're demonstrating. Because we should recall that in 2016 and 2007, they were incredibly detailed in describing every feature of their ballistic missiles, especially the intercontinental range ones that could reach the United States. But now they're being rather coy and rather secretive about what they're testing. And that suggests that this is less about us focusing on the capabilities that they're demonstrating and more a reminder internally and externally that North Korea continues to take its national defense seriously. Any response yet from the Americans? Uh, not yet. Uh, I believe the uh, U.S. Strategic Command put out a statement saying that they cannot confirm a launch that was detected. Uh, that actually suggests that this may not be a big system at all. Uh, we know that it's precision guided and that it has a powerful warhead. But of course, this could be something as small as an anti-tank guided missile, which would be something that's a very, very long ways away from something like a true ballistic missile that could carry a nuclear weapon. So really, without further information from the North Korean side or from the U.S. intelligence community, it's going to be very difficult for us to determine precisely what the North Koreans have tested here. Well, it's good to talk through what we do know so far. Ankit Panda, an American analyst specializing in defense. Many thanks for your uh, insight.